We're honoring Veterans Day here at Yahoo Finance and all those that served in the armed forces. So we want to bring in Hernan Luis e. Prado. He is the CEO of Workshops for Warriors, a veteran-owned, a veteran-operated a veteran community. And you're focusing on retraining those who have served and helping them reintegrate and re-enter civilian life. Hernan, it's great to see you. Let's just first take a step back and talk about the importance of Veterans Day, because you served in the Navy and in the Marine Corps for just over 15 years. You did tours through Iraq and Afghanistan. Just talk to us just about the importance of Veterans Day and what Veterans Day means to you. Absolutely. And thanks for the opportunity. Uh, Veterans Day is really important to me because we have this group of people, you know, less than 1% of Americans are eligible to serve in the Department of Defense. And you get this incredible pool of talent and you place them through anywhere from four to 40 months of accelerated training in the military. And then you give them work experience anywhere from two to 40 years. And at the end, you have a citizen that is committed, competent, shows up on time, drug free. And when they transition out of the service, all they need to help serve our nation again is additional training and certifications. And that's what Workshops for Warriors does. And that would be the easiest way to help our veterans is give them an opportunity to serve America again out of uniform. And that's what um, Workshops so, for Warriors does. Tell us about some of the courses that you offer veterans and, and who pays for that? Does the veteran pay for that or are there programs that cover the tuition for the course? So it's a combination. We are sponsored mainly by philanthropists. So corporate donations, individual donations, and we also do accept the GI Bill, but that covers a very small portion of the costs involved in running our school. We have millions of dollars worth of equipment. As you see there, you know, almost 200 graduates a year. We have almost a thousand graduates in, in the workforce that are employed throughout America. There's no out of pocket cost to the veteran, which is very important because the men and women that are leaving the service, what they need is compressed training, nationally recognized credentials, and placement throughout America. And that's what they've been getting here since 2008 with a 95% placement rate. Aaron, I'm talking about that 95% placement rate. Those who have been successful through your program, then also in the jobs that they have taken after they have graduated from their program, from your program, what have they done? How have they set themselves up for success? So we have graduates that work in companies like SpaceX, Tesla, uh, Reliant Steel and Aluminum, Ford Motor Company, uh, General Dynamics, General Atomics. So these are companies that are at the cutting edge of America's manufacturing and the underpinnings of America's manufacturing infrastructure. So these are people that have honorably served, have all the soft skills that they need. And now that they've been equipped with the technical skills that they need, they're ready to move forward, not only in, in terms of technical prowess, but in management and managerial expertise, they work well with others and they're very mission and team oriented. So it's a perfect fit for America's issue with manufacturing. And they also can get nationally recognized credentials. For instance, one of them, the American Welding Society. Tell us more about those credentials that, depending on the course of study, a vet uh, would follow and why that is so crucial. Of course. So Workshops for Warriors and for your viewers, it's wfw.org provides two courses of instruction. And each course of instruction is 16 weeks long, five days a week, nine hours a day. We either offer courses of instruction in manufacturing, that's CAD, CAM, uh, SolidWorks, MasterCAM, three-axis machining, turning, and quality assurance, or in welding fabrication. And that's MIG, TIG, stick, oxyacetylene, silver soldering, and fabrication, so that they're able to go from art to part in four months. So after four months of training at our school, the average salary for our graduates is $60,000 a year. Aaron, on real quick, we only have about a minute here, but what more do, would you like to see the Biden administration do just in order to help veter veterans re-enter the civilian workforce? Fund it. Like you need to fund an infrastructure program. If you uh, if you want to have this infrastructure bill, it's it's a great idea. It's a great initiative. Uh, I think it's sorely needed to rebuild America's manufacturing. But saying that you want training and not providing any funding for it sets you up for inaction. But what Workshops for is does is we are the missing piece. America needs a nationally viable and nationally scalable training program. Workshops for Warriors is that answer. We've been doing this since 2008. We've grown 350 times our original footprint. We have 95% of our graduates placed in full-time jobs throughout America. 
I think we are the solution that America needs to rebuild her workforce and to give veterans the jobs that they need. Aaron Luis de Prado, CEO of Workshops for Warriors. Thank you so much for your service and for the work that you're doing today. We wish you all the best.